This next five year window is when you don't go practical and safe. This is not the time to get the job mom wanted you to. This is the time to realize that you have a five year window, and it's three for some, it's eight for others, but this is a five year window for you to attack the life that you want to win and go and travel and learn. Go and start that business that you've always wanted. Hook up with those three teammates and start that band you've always wanted. This is the time to be massively risk. Guys, we are with Yash, CEO of uh, Jumper Jumper AI. AI. Really nice startup. Thank you, thank you. Could you please introduce about, about yourself? So I've been a serial entrepreneur since 1994. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason why I say serial entrepreneur is because business is the only thing I know. Okay. And uh, if you ask me about studies, I don't know anything. Okay. I just know how to build companies. Okay. So how did you build your companies before? So I saw an opportunity in 1994 when internet was very new in India. Okay. And my father runs a publication house and we needed a website. So rather than outsourcing it and spending like tens and thousands of dollars, you did it by yourself. I did it by myself. Okay. It was not that good, okay. but it was not that bad. <laughs> and we put it up on Yahoo, and okay. Yahoo was Yahoo, a directory. Oh my god! <laughs> right? I mean, Yahoo, Lycos, Alta Vista. We put it up there. It was not even a search engine. It was a directory. So people saw that site, and below the site was written "designed by Yash." Okay. So everybody started reaching out. You that you know, Yash at hotmail.com was my identity now. Okay. So they reached out to me and they said, Can you develop a website for me? Okay. And I started doing that and I started getting some freelancers to learn from me and work for me at a very cheap cost. That <laughs> sounds very bad, but yes. Yeah, but you, you learned a lot. Yes. And then I got them on my team to work part time and executed about 100 websites by 1999. Wow, uh, made quite a bit of money. Which, which, which languages did you use? HTML? Yes, HTML and JavaScript. Okay. And that was only there. I mean, there were other languages, but okay. obviously C is not for the web. Okay. So that's what I did. Made a little bit of money. Started investing in properties, go travel around the world, see a little bit, come back and share those stories with my friends. So that's... That was my starting starting story. Okay. I, I consider myself lucky in a way because I got access to computers very early and my friends did not. So they used to look at me and say, wow, this guy. This guy is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's, that's how it began. And till today, uh, my team and I have completed about 3,000 websites uh, oh. and 300 applications for clients world over. Okay. And all your clients were in India? No. So in India, were about 20%. Okay. But the others were like US, UK, Australia, some in France. Okay. Uh, some in Italy. Okay. London, Singapore. Singapore, I made, Singapore, a, lot, I made a lot of money from Singapore. <laughs> Lots of capital here. <laughs> and uh, for example, give me a, a name of a French app. So did. it was a salon. I don't know how to pronounce this. Okay. But it was... A U F R A N C something like that. Okay. And I couldn't pronounce that. I mean, I still cannot pronounce it. Okay. But uh, it was just a normal salon, and it was referred to me by L'Oreal. And okay. L'Oreal was one of one portion of the L'Oreal website back in about '99 was designed by me. Very small little. I mean, not even recognizable. But I was happy, and I put it on my portfolio. So that's what uh, got me orders from everywhere. Okay. That's fine. And I had a few friends who worked for L'Oreal to push my name. <laughs> so, what did you do after launching all those yes. websites? Yes, so uh, I made a lot of money. I started investing, as I said, in properties. I took small, small plots of land in India. It was cheap back then. Uh, then started investing in my friends' businesses just to see what happens. Mm -hmm. And, and by what then, happened? <laughs> it went away. <laughs> All the money was washed. But nevertheless, I got a scholarship to come and study in Singapore. Okay. And I was very happy. Like, okay, I'm going to go study in Singapore and I'm going to show off to my friends that, hey, you guys are here, I'm going there. I came here, but I did not feel that I can study more. Okay. So I dropped out. Okay. And I went back to Mumbai. Okay. And started my business again. Okay. Because I had that capital, I didn't have to go to my father and say, you know, just give me a loan. 
and uh, whenever my father also helped me, we we treated it as a loan in business. So if I needed to buy something and I did not have the money, I'll tell my dad to give me a loan for which I would give him interest. So the family money stays within the family. Okay. So we had that pact that don't go outside to the banks; they will kill you. If I have, I will give you. That's nice. So that's that's Thank that's you, what Daddy. he. Uh, he he is one of my biggest motivation and uh, a powerhouse of energy. When he comes to Singapore, I make you meet him. Okay. No problem. Sure. Yeah. I met I met your brother. Uh, your yes, brother. Yes. He looks very similar. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people have actually confused me. Uh, as you saw at SBC FinTech. After a pitch, they went to him. <laughs> nice pitch, <laughs> and he said thank you. <laughs> it happens every day. He messaged me, in fact, <laughs> that you thought it was him, right? So, yeah. After the, after coming back from Singapore, I dropped out, and I was uh, I was playing tennis. I played tennis for like about 27 years of my life. Okay. And didn't want to be a sportsman, but that taught me a lot about business. That there are going to be up times and there are going to be down times. You will not win always. And that's what's kept me going, and hence I say I'm a serial entrepreneur. If I fail, I don't stop. I learn. Sometimes I repeat the same mistake, but then I learn again and don't repeat it again. Okay. So, again, just to say, is business is the only thing I know. Okay. Great. So, you launched many. How many business did you launch during? So, if I'm going to give you an official count, yeah, eighteen. Uh, Eighteen, okay. Yes. And how many business did you fail? Fail, yeah, and sold. Eleven. Eleven failed. Okay, eleven failed. I fell flat on my face. Okay. I thought I was doing the next big thing, but it was not. Okay. And so you, how many business did you sold? So uh, there were few which were acquired, not okay. acquired. Okay. So there was three which were acquired. Okay. And I just took my. Uh, paycheck and okay. I left. Okay. Because I cannot sit in one place and just sit in a room and order. I'm a guy who likes to get my hand dirty. I want to be involved in everything, whether it's HR, it's PR, marketing, coding. I want to know what's happening. Okay. So three work were hired. One was acquired. Uh, one was just sold. I mean, they wanted that property and we gave it. Okay. It was a very nice HR game. To test uh, users on how persi uh, persistent they are, can they concentrate? Because if they have the logic, mm -hmm. anything can be taught. Okay. But if you don't have logic, it's just not easy mm. to be coachable. No, you're right. So uh, that's my journey so far. One of my biggest failures was uh, selfie challenge. It was uh, <laughs> an app I we made with the team that would. Challenge your friends to click selfies in the weirdest places. Right? Okay. Like, click a selfie at the urinal and stuff like that. We thought that yes, Instagram, we're going to take you over. But <laughs> but there is <laughs> always a but. Yes. So in two years after running it, we realized that it doesn't make sense. The world doesn't need another social network. Let Facebook be Facebook. Let Instagram be Instagram. Let's become an invisible layer on that. And that's when we started Jumper.ai. Okay. So no apps to download and no websites to visit. And it becomes very difficult to convince somebody to download an app. No, you're right. They would rather download Candy Crush. Mm -hmm. They will not download my app. <laughs> so we said, shut it down. So what is Jumper? Jumper is the fastest way to buy and sell things and collect payments within social media. Okay. Right. So you see a post, you want it. What usually happens is you click it. You go to a website, add it to your shopping cart, put your name, address, pay, and leave. That's technically ten steps. But with Jumper, it's three: comment, confirm, done. That's perfect. Thank you. I I love your app. You Thank know you. that. Yes, yes, <laughs> absolutely. You know that. Okay, great. And um, so now we we speak about your. Best moment of your five-year window. You know what is the five-year window? No. Okay, I will explain to you. Sure. So it's the moment that you use to really do what you want to do. Yes. So what is the most epic moment of your five-year window? It's actually just begun this January. Okay. The thing which was my calling. Okay. Which I believe is jumper. 
Okay. Because I know it can add a lot of value to everybody. Okay. Making merchants life easy, consumers like us want to buy things fast. We don't want to be bogged down. I mm-hmm. think my window has just opened. Okay. And uh, these five well, years... Maybe you have multiple windows. This is the best one. Okay. This is the best this one. This is the best one. The earlier one... started in January. Yes, because Jumper launched in January. Okay. And I think these five years are going to be very crucial on where this life goes ahead. Okay. And hence, my team and I are giving it 100%. Your team, just over there. <laughs> Okay, great. And um, pretty impressive, in fact. Thank you. It's pretty impressive because you did a lot of things and now you are 38 years old? Yes. 38 years old and you start a new business yes. in Singapore, yes. far away from Mumbai. Yes. It was a tough decision. Yeah. But it's best to be where the action is. You're right. And after coming here, a lot of lessons were learned. In, in only two months, you, you yeah. learn a lot? Uh, yes, because it's, it's a different atmosphere here. Mm-hmm. It's a different atmosphere everywhere, in fact. And coming to Singapore and winning three pitches out of three was a dream run for us. So all three, we were number one. Who wouldn't like that? So now we feel good. And why I'm saying the windows opened is because people are appreciating what we're doing. Earlier, we were always in the shadows doing the hard work. Now we are coming out and doing it. That's nice. Really nice. And then hence, right, it's a team effort. So whenever I win, I don't take the trophy alone. Mm. I call my team. You're together. Yeah. Makes sense. And what is it to be a, a serial entrepreneur? So according to me, it's more like basketball, right? Okay. When you dribble, it's always up and down, up and down, up and down. It doesn't stay up. Okay. So a lot of downs which taught me just keep smiling because it, when you smile, the opposite person smiles. Okay. And it doesn't cost anything. Okay. If you can buy a smile a day, you're a serial entrepreneur. Okay. But if you're always angry, nobody will like you. You're totally right on this point. <laughs> yeah, it's a good, uh, good comparison. Basketball. Yeah, always up and down, up and down. You can't hold it this way, it's a foul, there's a timeout. So I think it's more like basketball. A lot of downs, but when you hit a basket, it goes up, still comes down. Okay. So I believe it's a non-stop learning cycle. So to talk about ups and downs, what is your daily routine at work? Oh, my daily routine. <laughs> it starts at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Till 2 a.m. Till 2 a.m., oh my God. Like just yesterday, I was sending out emails at 4.45 a.m. And when I went for the meetings in the morning, they were like, do you ever sleep? I was like, in a startup, you cannot sleep because you are a CEO, you're a programmer, you're a marketer, you're a customer service. And our platform being open in 27 countries in different time zones, I have to support the people who are trying to use the product. So I technically don't sleep. I know it's a bad thing. So you don't sleep? I do, but very little. How do I do that? Yeah. So, so the good part about this place is there's almost free coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drink too many coffee. Yeah. So I, I cut down, but it's just the excitement of what we are doing yeah. and what it can do yeah. in the future is keeping all of us awake. So every day we are here, we, we leave late because we know there's only one bus remaining or we cab it up and Uber has promotional codes. So thank you, Uber. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, um, but take some rest. Sleep yes. a little bit. I should. Are my dark circles showing? <laughs> <laughs> and um, so what is the, the, the most relevant business action you did this year? The most relevant business action yeah. was moving out of Mumbai and coming here. Okay. Because this place is adaptive to new technologies. Okay. There are certain countries which follow what has happened in the West. Yeah. And then it trickles down. But Singapore being a central financial district in mm-hmm. Poesia is very open to trying new technologies. Yes, totally. And 
the one decision which was the toughest and the crucial one was to move out of there we needed money i mean we had a little bit of money for the runway but should we go there and spend because singapore was expensive but we took the hard call that yes we got to be where the action is and the choice was either me as a founder coming here or nobody at all hmm. i fought with the sada boot camp team and i said if i'm coming to your program i'm coming with my team else i'm not coming so if you want me make it happen and just yesterday we got our ep yeah you do me yes. that's nice congrats and um did, did you thought about did you think about the the valley go uh, to yes. san francisco california yes. i always wanted to go there I, okay. i want to go there okay but there hasn't come across an opportunity no okay. matter it's not a complaint but it it eventually will be there okay in about a year i'm hoping oh really i'm hoping okay is good to hope at least to make that happen <laughs> you're right so what is the most inspirational founder for you and don't say it on this no i'm not going to say <laughs> okay so an inspirational founder i have multiple of them okay i don't have just one okay because i'm a guy who likes to pick out the best in different different people and put together that mm-hmm. not in me but in the team culture that i'm going to build so yes i like steve jobs for mm-hmm. his aggressiveness okay because he wants to get it done he wants it out in a particular way and not just anyhow so then there is dhirubhai ambani actually from india dhiru ambani the like reliance okay dhirubhai ambani so he came from a small village okay and became a tycoon by doing what not he must have used different different ways i think the best way he did was to make his employees his shareholders from day one really yes the reason why i say this is um, there was a spa or a gym where my father used to go and he met this guy he used to go to the same gym okay so my father asked him that why is it that when you enter this place this place is spick and span and clean but when we enter it's normal it's dirty why so he said that i don't tip cash i give them my shares and it takes a lot of courage to give shares that one day today his chauffeur has his own bmw okay so that is one i i look for that keep the people around you happy because you're there because of them okay and do you do the same for all your employees yes they all have they all have shares yes that's nice because i know that if i was to do this alone i can't do it okay. the way we've reached it's a team effort so what we live by is this statement that a man is not known by the company he works for the company is known by the men that work for it sure and we live by that so these are two three uh people i like to follow elon musk yeah he's a new age hero but i would rather go for the tony stark in the film who has that charisma that's nice that's nice uh, for the moment the guy i like is gary venetrick you know this guy yes i, I love it i am follow all those all these all these stories yeah. and uh, talk show and yes It's, it's really interesting. He's very inspirational. Mm. He's motivational. Yeah, really. Right. No matter what happens, mm. just keep going. Mm. One day you will reach it. I will. I will see him at Rice. Wow. Yeah, in Hong Kong. I, oh, I, I'm coming in. Oh, really? Yes. yes. Perfect. Yes. We'll see. Him. But I, 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 I saw him in Lisbon uh, last November. Right. At Web Summit. Mm-hmm. He is. Yeah. It fantastic. Was, it was. It was a show. Oh my God. Yes. Amazing. Yes. So, just a transition. What is the most impactful book you read? Okay, I have to be honest. Okay, uh, I don't read books. Okay. So what do you read? Do I, you I read comics. Okay. So what is the most impactful comic you read? A most impactful comic in a way is Archie's. Archie's. <laughs> the reason why I say that is because I'm very connected to my friends from childhood. Okay. for me friends is family is the same a little bit from and uh, 
Archie's was a comic where everybody has their own personality. Okay. But at the end of the day, they will eat on the same table. Okay. So that's what I like. It's it's different. I don't read books, hence comics. Okay. You you should give me the reference of of this comic. Sure. This could be interesting. Um. So, what is your aspiration for for Jumper for the next two or three years? Sure. So. As any other founder, I would love to take this to the IPO. <laughs> But good luck. Yes, thank good you. Luck. Thank you. But I'm pretty sure that if we achieve that milestone in maybe two years that we have set, that we we want everybody to be using Jumper. I mean, to a good extent. Yeah. Uh, I see a lot of exit possibilities where companies like Facebook or somebody could sure. talk to us, mm -hmm. and I will be happy to. Say that take me along, so that I can build this company within your ecosystem into a bigger player, which is because they have the infrastructure, they have everything. So I would love to do that. So In two or three years, I think it can happen. Okay, I think so, and we're trying to make it happen. Hence, no sleep. <laughs> okay, I hope it will happen. Yes, fingers I crossed. Hope. Yeah. yeah. And last question. Sure. Um, which advice would you give to a millennial? A millennial, it's like a, a guy from 20 years right. old to 30 years old who wants to create his own company. Sure. Startup. So my only advice is listen. Okay. Keep your ears open. Keep your eyes open. Okay. Don't react. Don't be aggressive. Okay. Um, be who you are. Be honest. Okay. Because just by Talking certain things, you're not going to impress everybody. It's your action what is going to take you places. And stick by your team. Don't abandon anybody. Mm. That's my advice. And keep going at it. Failures are a part of life. I failed 11 times, probably 12 times if I go to see the exact mathematics. But that didn't change my motivation. It just kept me going. That one day, one day I'm going to do it. And I believe that day is coming soon. I hope so. Yes. <laughs> the same for me. Yeah. I hope this it will come soon. And it will. 100%. Mm -hmm. I hope. And um, do you have a mentor or mentors? Uh, do you have mentors? At SBC? Oh, overall in life. Yeah. Before, maybe now, do you have someone uh, who advise you every day? Or? Yes. My younger brother. Oh, yeah. So he's the more practical one. Okay that this has to be done this way but I'm of the opposite side that no this can be done in this this and this way let's try all okay so whenever I go haywire if I go to do something else he will knock some sense into me that Yash do this way and try okay so I look up to him he's my younger brother I have to say this sorry <laughs> no, 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 no. It's okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah he's been one of the driving forces in my life We fight every day, but for good things. That's nice. Yeah. Thank you so much yes, for this mine. testimonial. And uh, take care and uh, I wish you the best. Thank you. Same to you. Boy, if you're lucky enough to be graduating today with not a fucking idea of what you're going to do with your future, nobody's ever been luckier than you. Please recognize it.